I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT calculator section. College Board gives us a quadratic equation and asks for the sum of the two solutions. There are three ways of doing this. One is I can use the quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac, all of it over 2a, where a equals the quadratic coefficient 3, b equals the linear coefficient, that's plus 1x, so b equals positive 1, and c equals the constant, which is negative 2. So x equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1, minus 4 times negative 2 is positive 8 times 3 is positive 24, over 2a, where a is 3, so 2a is 6. 1 plus 24 is 25, square root is 5, so x equals negative 1 plus or minus 5 over 6. You can either find that this is negative 6 over 6, which is negative 1, or positive 4 over 6, which is 2 thirds. And the sum is negative 1 plus 2 thirds equals negative 1 third, choice B. Alternatively, I can graph this on my graphing calculator and find the zeros. So that's 3x squared plus x minus 2, and the zeros are 0.666 and negative 1 is negative 0.3. 3, 3, 4, which is about negative one third within the rounding of the number of places that I copied. A third option is the sum of the roots is always I'm calling a plus b, and I'm also using a and b for the coefficients. So I'll just say equals negative b over. 2, no, negative b over a. One root is negative b over 2a plus something, the other is negative b over 2a minus the same thing, so these square roots will cancel, and you get negative 2b over 2a, which is negative b over a, and in this case this is negative 1 over 3, which is fast we found by the other two methods. College Board will always ask you to solve quadratic equations, sometimes using the quadratic formula, sometimes by factoring. So make sure that you're comfortable with quadratics and come back soon for our next video. With math, there's always more.